Hello. Tickets are available if you are interested. Take it, please. The theater of Wallur awaits you behind those doors. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded with incident and various intercourse with the world than I. During extensive travel through this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical, there exists nothing like it, anywhere. In an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams, I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit. To me, it's true, for it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. Do something better! I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. <laughs> Truly the most exotic of places in the world. Yeah. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. Yeah. I shaved him from this head to toe. Off. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus! Welcome! Welcome! Welcome to my incredible display of dark arts and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot Bring outrun a bull. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught betting my wife. <laughs> I joke. I joke. You all see this? <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. Oh, I have traveled all around the world is delighting young and old with all manner of feats of amazement but none are as dangerous as what i am prepared to attempt tonight i will hand this dd packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage she will Point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger. Using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny man I met in the distant orient, I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes. This is a terrible my show. Teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lalicola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Here we go! Oh, I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Hey! Oh my god, I can't watch! Oh my god! Sweet Jesus! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's 
Yes! It always scares me. <laughs> now, observe as I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat death. As if it were nothing. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Right. Hmm. Oh, I can't take it. Get a pull in my you leg. Ought to pay this is a to bunch of this. dang boulder dash. Ah. <laughs> a skeptic. Hmm? I'm trying huh. to watch the show. I'm Benjamin Lazarus. I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. Yeah, These bullets right. are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my Did teeth. Let's see it! Is no one man enough? Come on, someone stand up and take a shot. Okay, okay. If nobody else is gonna expose this phony, then I will. I trust you are a good shot, sir. I can shoot a fly's wings off at a hundred paces. Excellent, my good man. Now, ready? <clears throat> Take aim. Oh, the fight is too much. And fly. Ah, fly! 